hopefully next year they let me have my own stand. Really? You know what I mean? You know, like hands, food, or something like that. It's gonna be amazing. So what do you? What's, what's your dish? What are you into? What, what kind of stand would you have? A fan favorite of mine is my homemade lasagna. I like making lasagna from scratch. I got like a little secret sauce. Like I kind of add some seasoning spices. So hopefully they'll let me do that next How long year. Have you been a cook? You know what? Ever since I was little, like uh, whenever my mom or my grandma was cooking, like I would always try to like sneak food and like you know always like just you know call my grandma, hey, like you know can you come over and make this? She's like, boy, you know if you want to eat all this, you gotta learn how to cook for yourself. So kind of just got it easy. <laughs> you made a little business out of it last year at Alabama, right? Selling burgers. Yeah, I did out of my dorm room. So I used to make burgers from scratch. I remember it. Uh, I had eggs. A um, couple of little like seasonings, just a, like a hint of flour so it could stick together. And I used to glaze it with uh, Sweet Baby Ray's and uh, melt some Swiss cheese on top. And I used to like kind of like um, like uh, cook the buns and then like, you know, I used to sell it for like $5 a pop. It was cool. <laughs> Did you stick with the plan and drop the red meat this off season? Oh, you know what? I tried to. And then I came across some ribs <laughs> and it kind of killed that old thing. But I'm, I'm going to try to. I'm going to like slowly but surely get to it. No, you know what? I lasted like two weeks. Okay. Two weeks and then it was them ribs calling my name. I, I think pork is the other white meat. I think you're still good. Hey, you never know. Hey, I like that. I like that. I might use that. I might use that with my nutritionist. What, what, how are you different? How do you think you will be different as a person, as a player right now? You know, a year, now that you've had a year in the NFL, how, how do you think you'll come back? I think just uh, managing my time better. Um, you know, like when I first got here, uh, you know, I was kind of just like getting, like trying to, you know, I guess like gain my routine. Uh, you know, learn my ways around the building. Now, since I like know everything, or at least like know my way around the building, I can kind of just hone in on my craft and, you know, uh, watching film more, studying film more, stuff like that. Isn't that so beneficial for, sorry, for guys going into their second year? You can focus on football the offseason. You're not running a 40 or training, doing all this other stuff. You can just focus on football. How beneficial is that? Been? Oh, man, it's amazing. And then I, I have a house. You know, I don't got to worry about where I'm going to live, what kind of car I'm going to drive. It's just, Really focusing on what I need to do. How is your name? Oh, this is amazing. I'm back. I'm back to normal. You've been uh, you've been training with Tracy, right? Oh yeah, Tracy. Walt, yeah, yeah. Where, where you guys been training and how did that? Oh man. Well, you know I mean we're we're teammates. So um, I went to uh, L.A. and in Houston, and when I came back, came back just a little early, you know, just to you know see how my house is doing and everything. And then uh, Tracy was out here, so we just got together. Uh, we were in uh, Rochester. Yep. John, how you feel about playing alongside uh, Trey Flowers now? To the oh man, he's a great addition. He's an amazing player, and I can't wait. How excited are you for that defensive line? Those snacks, yourself, Ashawn. Now you add a guy like Flowers. I mean, you've got some guys that played some pretty good football last year, all kind of coming together. Well, it's exciting, but right now we just worrying about getting better day by day. Ashawn, you've done a Taste of the Lions event before. What do you like about this event? The food, the food and the fans. <laughs> yeah, like I said uh, before, you know, coming in, I mean, you know, I was really nervous, but coming here, it kind of like breaks the ice with the with the fans, and you know, you really get their support here. So I was curious, about a couple last season, the way last season ended, what sort of taste did it leave in your mouth, you know, not being able to be Say on the field? Say one more time. What sort of taste did last season leave in your mouth, the way it ended, not being able to be on the field, just on a personal level? I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about getting better day by day.